Hello. This is a tutorial I did a while ago and I always or almost had forgotten it until just the other day Douglas Henderson whom I don't know uh, replied asked a question. I don't like to answer questions really because I'm looking into the future to the next tutorial and I'm not getting paid for this basically. It's just a pleasure thing. So um well, uh, answers are all always a little bit tricky, although I appreciate comments, of course. Uh, anyway, uh, Douglas asked, Hello Ur, which is my channel name. My actual name is Maximilian. Hello Maximilian, so to say. Just viewed your texture video. Is it possible to put a boat or floating object on this surface? And I quickly replied, I guess you can just point constrain your boat to a CV or vertex on the top of the mesh. It's been a while ago that I did this video, so I cannot rep reproduce, it, reproduce it right now. Well, basically, my instinct was right, but uh, I was slightly mistaken. <clears throat> so let's get to Maya and check this out. So this is the animation we basically the same animation we did in the previous tutorial the tutorial we just talked about uh, lovely waves in this case I used a disk instead of a box but this process is the same it's a texture deformer it's an ocean texture which is animated uh, through time so we actually have waves here in the outliner we have two objects one is the polygon disk and one is the deformer when we um, delete the texture deformer handle uh, the wave motion will continue <clears throat> but only as a texture not as a deformation let me just briefly show you that so the disk is not um, it needs the deform in order to do this animation so I delete the texture deformer handle now you have a flat surface but the animation you can run the animation and the texture still moves so when you um, there's another tutorial I did just a couple of weeks ago about dimensions in uh, a computer animation you could easily use this for an ocean which is far away as soon as you get closer to the ocean you need uh, the actual deformation so let's undo this by pressing the key Z several times now we're back to the deformation here um, the question was can we put a boat on the waves yes we can uh, let's imagine this is a boat here uh, the cone and uh, because the cone has such a nice uh, top I press the key insert in order to move the pivot down just a little bit uh, press insert again and uh, the constraints we need to uh, use a constraint here the constraints in Maya always work in the same sequence you first select the constraining object which is our surface so I would typically select the disk and uh, afterwards you select the cone and then you apply the constraint uh, command so um, we could do this like so uh, we've selected the, them in the proper order and then go to constrain and go to point point constraint and this is what we get the cone doesn't respect the waves it just sits there and the reason is because it's a texture deform it's not an actual deforming surface so the point constraint means I sit there where you sit and the original surface is a disk and the disk sits there and uh, so this does not work let's do Z for undo undo the point constraint it's down here so you always see what you're undoing no you can do that much better and one way is to constrain we still have the proper selection order to geometry so um, now the cone moves up and down and you can move the, co the cone on the surface let's just pick the cone here and it goes up and down on that hilly surface so that's the 
geometry constraint. Now check out what's above it, the point on polygon constraint. And that's exactly what the question was about, I guess. So um, point on poly, that's what we'll use instead of geometry, which geometry worked all right already. But the point is a point constraint on the mesh is uh, even more interesting. So Z again, undo move, undo select, undo play, undo geometry constraint. Now we go to, we have the two things selected here, the two objects in the proper order, constrain and now point on poly. No, we need to select a point on the polygon. How do we do that? Uh, well, uh, we have two modes to pick uh, objects and sub-objects uh, and when you press the key F8 you see the components press F8 again you're back in object mode we need to be in a component selection mode for example and now let's just pick one of the points here like that one it's not in the center and it's not at the edge so that's where we want to constrain our cone to so with this selected, we additionally select, and I use the, what is it called, command key uh, for that, the polygon cone down here. And now I apply constrain point on poly. And you see marvelous things happening. The cone jumps to that point and it uses the direction of the point. That's exactly what a boat would do. So that's the constraint we need. And uh, before I run the animation, which is uh, going to be very cool, I guess, we assign a new material. And uh, a standard Arnold shader would be good. And we give it a ramp texture. And the ramp goes from red to white. In order to see it, we need to check this here. More red, please. Yes. Okay. Now we can go back into object mode, deselect everything, and just enjoy the animation. Of course, there's an upcoming question now. Don't ask me questions, please. I'm only joking. Um, the upcoming question would be, can we move this boat above the surface from left to right, for example? Yes, we can, but that's not trivial at all because you cannot paint a curve on that surface because it's not a real deformed surface. You need the uh, alembic export for this and I show you that in one of the next tutorials. Have a nice day.